Welcome everyone back to Monday and to Soul Organized Styles Daily Podcast. And today we have Louise Sparrow from ASG. She's the chair of ASG to give us an update on what's happening within the Australian Sewing Guild. Hi Louise. Hi Maria. Oh, you've been really busy, haven't you? Oh yes. <laughs> this pandemic has made a lot of work for me. <laughs> But I guess I shouldn't complain, it keeps me amused. And I think it keeps your guild members with something mindful to do with their time. It's trying to keep them motivated. That's, yes. That's what we want. Because they can't meet, and they can't physically meet, so we have to make them yes. feel like they're still part of the organisation. Correct, yep. That's right. And that's the challenge that we're all facing. So mm, thank exactly. you for being on the daily podcast today. So what would you like to run through today? Well, I'd like to tell you about the upcoming challenges that we have organized. As I said, because members can no longer meet physically, we want them to still be active in the sewing room. We want to help combat the boredom, give them some challenges, hopefully learn some new things along the way. So we've set up a series of monthly challenges starting in May. Each month is is a different theme or a different topic that we're going to cover. They're all simple challenges. Over past years, we have run a series of fairly complex challenges. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been very successful and others not so successful. The last one was not really very successful at all, if I have to be honest. Um, And we wondered why. We surveyed our members and discovered that the reason was that it was too complex. There were too many elements to it. They were going to end up with a garment that they probably were never going to wear. And what they really wanted was something that was simple, where they would end end up with a wearable garment or a wearable accessory item or whatever they made. And so for these challenges, we've paired it back to being simple, achievable fairly easily, but yet a lot of fun. That must be good for your members to hear that you're listening to them, asking them what it is they want, and then coming up with challenges that they can really revel in yeah Yeah. we've been thinking about these for a while you know wondering what you know what are we going to do how are we going to do it and it's been put on the back burner a little bit to be honest because other things have have taken precedence but with this whole pandemic crisis we thought this is the perfect time to introduce something to keep our members motivated it's really good to hear so what can we look forward to in may well, in May, we are st- we're starting with a nice cozy little sweater knit dress because we're coming into the cooler months, although here in Queensland, I, I'm beginning to doubt that we're ever going to get out of summer. Other parts of Australia will be starting to cool down. So it's, it's a very, very simple pattern. It's a free pattern. Okay, that's, that's available good. available from, from um, Peppermint Magazine is the magazine that provides it. So it is free, but they do ask for a small donation. And that's because they're a small independent business. And so, you know, we're trying to keep them afloat and we're trying to support them. So we are going to encourage people to just, you know, a $2, $3 donation is all that's required for receiving this pattern. Very, very simple pattern. The challenge is that it's working with knit fabrics. So they have to have a knit and they have to be able to attach some ribbing around the neckline and around the sleeve cuffs. For some people, that's going to be a new experience. It will be a new experience. And for some people, they'll have to, you know, if they're not going to go outside of their home and stay at home, they might have to dig deep in their fabric stashes. In their stashes, yes. That's right. Absolutely. That's a good um, thing. Yeah, well, that's sweet. Stash busting is a good a good thing. And of course, if there's nothing in the stash, you can always still order online. Yes, there are. You know, there's plenty of places that are still providing that service. You just have to, I guess, trust that um, you're getting good quality. For people who register, of course, and you do need to register for the challenge. And the reason we ask people to register is so that we can keep updating them with information. Yes. Yeah. So, because we don't want to bombard everybody, if they're not participating, they don't need to know about it. So, we will give participants some suggestions for where they can order online, where we know that they will get good quality fabric. Oh, that's really good to know. So, at least they're not wondering where to go to, and then being disappointed when the the fabric hits, yeah. you know, their doorstep, yeah. and it's like, oh no, I've got to do this in May, <laughs> and I won't be able to finish it. 
that's the first challenge. And we're also going to ask people to submit pictures as well. So we will have a little photo album online that will allow people to view everybody else's finished products. It's not a judged challenge, so no, no, no judges in sight. So we're not looking for perfection. So if somebody ends up with a real disaster, they're welcome to post that as well. They might um, actually have quite an interesting story behind it too, so that'd be really good to see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we, we're not looking for per perfection. We're just looking for people to have fun and to give it a go. There's a, a prize, a random drawn prize, based on the photos that are submitted. It's a simple prize. The, the project is simple, so the prize is simple too. We're not giving away sewing machines or overlockers, but just simple prizes to reward people for their effort. So even if your project ends up not turning out the way you thought it was, if it looks really good and you're the random draw, then hey, you've won, yeah, right? You're yeah, you're a winner. It's a, it's a winner. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so yeah, don't be backwards in coming forwards. <laughs> That's right, yeah. It's good to see mistakes that people have made because we all learn from each other's mistakes. That's right. So really you're encouraging a learning environment through these challenges. That's correct, yeah. That's good. That's really good to hear. So that's the challenge for May. And then we have four more challenges already set in place that would take everybody through to September. And again, they're all simple, they're simple ones, and they're all up on our website. So you will see them either on the events page yep. or there's a, a page devoted to challenges and competitions. So you'll find them on both of those pages. And if we find that we get to September and we're all still in lockdown, and we all still need to keep our sewing mojo going, we'll just introduce some more. There's plenty of ideas coming out of the woodwork for challenges. So, well, you know, that's not the end of it. It can keep going if necessary. And it's really good to see that you've set these up so quickly since we've gone into this stay-at-home environment and that you'll be keeping people up to date when they register for particular challenges so that they know if there are any changes or any of the fun things that might be happening in the meantime. Mm, exactly, yeah. Well, thanks again for being on the daily podcast for So Organised Style Podcast. No, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, all right. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>